my name is Svea and today we're going to be talking about things to know before dating. Um, we're going to be dealing with <clears throat> um, different stages, of course, what is dating, um, why do we date, why is it important uh, um, to date and of course uh, do what um is dating a necessity or a choice so you guys are highly welcome to today's life live um so we're gonna start first with what is dating you know it's a word that we hear quite a lot oh i'm dating this person or this um you know this person and i are you know we're dating and all of that so um so what is dating i guess it's a question most people already you know we know the answer to okay so the traditional or let's say the concept came from two people setting a date and then going out together and then it's later you know changed to dating as saying okay we're now going out officially like we're getting to know each other and then of course why do we date we date because uh, we're trying to get to know each other it's a way to get to know um, the opposite sex have new social interactions uh, meeting somebody new trying to you know see if this person and you can uh, um, work on something like you know can we be build a relationship so that's essentially the main idea behind dating and um, a question that I asked myself was is dating a choice or is it a necessity that's a question I'm going to answer by the end of this life. And as well, you can answer this question. Do you think dating is a choice or dating is a necessity? I'll check out the answers um, on the comment section. I'm just typing the question in. Um, then I'll send in my Okay, so what are the things that we need to know ahead of dating? Um, it's pretty important to know what you're getting into before making any decision like i i i have to make sure that i'm fully aware of x y and z before i venture into it you know it's it doesn't hurt anyone to learn about certain concepts and certain ideas before going into it most of the time we think we actually know but it turns out that we really have a lot that we need to understand before entering in. Of course, like I mentioned, dating is to get to know someone new. So the primary reason of dating is to get to know someone new. So in order, um, in order for you to know, get to know somebody, uh, uh, you have certain questions that you need answers to. Um, of course, why are we dating? Welcome guys, happy to have you all here. So this person, what is it that about this person that I need to know in terms of spiritual, emotional, financial, there are different aspects that you're going to look at. Um, of course, um, as Christians, it's most, uh, as a Christian, I believe that, um, uh, um, before dating, it's it has a spiritual. <laughs> okay, um, uh, 
Amadino. Okay, I've seen I've seen your 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 suggestion. Thank you very much for that. Um before you start dating somebody, you have to ask yourself about the spiritual aspects, you know. You can't just start dating somebody without um understanding that if two people are going to come together, it's not just physical, it's not just emotional. There's also the spiritual aspect. In this case, we're talking about um their purpose, you know. Everyone in, on earth has the purpose that you're sent on earth for. Like, you're going to get married, uh, you're about to date, you have to understand about the purpose of that person to know that, okay, are we guys, you know, are we going to align in this aspect? And I know some people be like, that's quite sudden. But um, most often people are, when they ask, why are you dating? They will say, oh, I just get to know this person. But again, besides that, are you trying to move further? Uh, more than, is it just, just to date or you're hoping to go further? Mm? So you have to think about uh, the purpose, their motivation, their interests. Of course, um, uh, uh, their dreams and their personality. That's very important. What's their purpose? What are their interests? Uh, 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 um, what's their personality like? You know? And of course, there is also the aspect of, you know, the physical. And... Um, most of the time, we tend to pay so much attention to the physical look of a person. Like we put it as the primary, which is not supposed to be the case. Um, there is more to everyone than just how great they look or how, uh, 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 you know. Aside all that outer, there is the inner, which is what is going to sustain that relationship. And that's what um, is number one in this case. Like, you know, we're talking here about the spiritual and the intellectual parts of an individual before dating. It's very important to know that the spiritual is very important. You know, are you guys going to be okay in that aspect of their purpose, in that aspect of uh, 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 um, their, what motivates them, their interests, you know, their character, their personality. It goes beyond how good they look, you know. It's good, like, yeah, you like somebody tall, you like somebody dark-skinned, you like somebody fair-skinned, but that should be the least reason for dating somebody. The least reason for dating anyone should be the physical um, you know, outlook, you know, like, I don't know for other people, but I used to feel a little uneasy if somebody is putting so much emphasis on how I look, I still do feel uneasy, like, are you trying to say you've not seen anything beyond the physical that you make you want to keep on getting to know me, you know? Like, sometimes people will tell you, oh, she has a beautiful look. And then they ask, okay, so uh, why did you guys break up? Like, oh, she's so pretty and stuff. That's what they can see because they don't, you know, they don't interact with you on a deeper level or they did not interact with that person on a deeper level. So they tend to easily just say, oh, she looks so good. You guys look good together. That's mostly the aspect of the physical. Like, oh, you guys look good together. Like physically they look, you know, all yummy and stuff. But then the person has discovered certain aspects that doesn't go down well with who they are or their purpose or where they're going. So they find it, you know, like the smartest thing to do is um is to get away from this person because yeah they look amazing it's fine like you you would like to present them publicly like oh this is my girl this is my man but then 
aside that there is nothing extraordinary anymore like you guys your purposes do not align the character is not going as you want it there's the interest everything is totally off um okay they okay she's exactly we are there looks i do not prioritize looks bernadette says she doesn't prioritize looks as well yeah it's it's more than that and um like i mentioned the least important thing should be the physical look make sure before um dating anyone you know you know the aspect of their purpose their interests and their personality uh, uh what motivates them and uh then you can know that okay we're going somewhere like this is quite healthy like the the spiritual and the intellectual part like okay this is this is looking good like beyond her looking so amazing she looks good she has a great body she has this personality i see her as somebody that i can you know build something with i don't um i see that our, our purposes are aligning i see that we have you know the same interests it might not be all but there are certain things that you know in terms of the interest that you guys can easily work with um okay so another question we're supposed to ask ourselves is are we fully aware of the benefits and dangers that comes with dating you know because um like i mentioned we just tend to want to date like what are the benefits of dating what are some of the dangers that are involved if i don't you know understand fully well what i'm going into and of course some of these benefits are you get to know somebody beyond their physical like you get to know you know how they think how they process things how they respond to things why uh, and they react to certain things the way they do you know you can't know everything in one day it takes time and that's why you can't just immediately see somebody looking so good and you automatically want to move to the next level so for me i'm going to say getting to know them you know taking steps to get to know them beyond just uh that one movie date there are so many things that you cannot find out from three dates you know like uh, um just a dinner date a walk in the park or a movie date there isn't much that you're ever going to know because um it's easy for human beings to put up a certain appearance and um and cover a lot of things like oh this guy wants to get to know me or this lady wants to get to know me i'm going to say all the right things i'm going to act the part you know so it takes quite some time to really get to know people because uh some people can google certain things that they know that you you know now the the world is uh, 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 everything is online you can just check somebody out like okay you check out their instagram or their facebook or google questions that uh um they might most um, most somebody might most likely ask on a date and blah blah blah, blah. and then you get certain um answers and have everything planned out like oh when he says says this i'm going to do like this when it does like this i'm going to do like that i'm just going to you know be up on my best behavior so you can't really know somebody by just one two or three dates you have to you know build a f friendship with them and get to see them beyond that uh, uh, um, fancy going out and hanging out and you know just having fun like building a friendship that um can get you 
to that point of, you know, you guys connect and get to understand each other as much as possible. Um, and then, yeah, dating is also quite, uh, uh, it's more than just having fun, especially if you're trying to build a relationship that is going to move past the dating phase. So you can't go there. <clears throat> Sorry, you can't go in there casually. You have to understand that you're dealing with another human being that has a spirit, a soul, and a body. So you have to understand that um, there are certain things that uh, 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 makes up a person. So you can't just enter there casually doing whatever you want. Or let's say just having fun or having sex and having this kind of bond that you know that um it's not going to move past what is happening now which is quite dangerous because sex is actually going to create this form of connection that makes it quite difficult to to you know to move past like most people are stuck in relationships because of you know like the sex is good um we've been having sex or i can't leave him it was my first i don't want to be having multiple sex partners and all of that so these are some of the things that we have to consider before dating like it's very cl important to set clear boundaries before starting to date are you are you uh, 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 one of are you a person that does not want any form of physical uh, um intimacy before marriage are you the kind of person that um these are your boundaries you don't compromise on these things you know let it be clear before dating that i don't like to do this i can't do this i'm not going to change this and this aspect you know like um i consider you uh, um a boyfriend at this point so this is what our dating is limited to. I cannot give you girl, um, wife benefits as a girlfriend. I can't give you boyfriend benefits, um, husband benefits as a boyfriend. As a boyfriend, you know, like having clear boundaries. Like let it be clear that X, Y, and Z are things that I'm not comfortable with. I'm not going to do them. So that at the end of the day, there won't be any issues. You know, like be honest and real with yourself and not just enter into that relationship and start complaining later on that, oh, he's asking for this, he's saying this and this and this. And you start thinking of compromising your standards because you want to maintain this relationship because, um, because you've already gone so far without clarifying things from the initial stage. You know, um, I was talking with my friend the other day and my friend was like, sometimes we just really want to have fun. But when we tell the ladies that we just want to have fun and um, they all disappear on us and um, later. So now we have decided not to tell them. Instead, we tell them what they want to hear, which is very, very like it's a very bad thing to do wherein you are convincing or you are you are promising things that you know you are not ever going to do to somebody and giving them the idea that it's going to be more than just uh, 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 a fun like it's going to be more than like you're convincing other oh it's it's more than fun and games i'm actually serious about this thing i'm working on us moving past just boyfriend and girlfriend i want us to go this to this level and you know so many times when we believe these things like for example as a woman like i want i decide to believe what she's saying like okay that's what he says he actually acts that way so you decide to put down those boundaries and standards and you end up becoming physical you've given everything in and then finding out later that it was just fun and games. 
So let us be very clear before dating that this and this I cannot do. I cannot have sex until I'm married. Um, I cannot be acting like a wife to you. That includes um, you're doing everything in his house. You go there, you clean, you cook, and this and this and this. There are certain things that should, you know, even if it's going to happen, it shouldn't be a must that you do them. It can just be on the side, like, okay, out of care and respect and love. You're going to, you know, provide him with, you know, like, okay, you make something, he's going to eat something. But it shouldn't be the kind of thing that becomes constant, like, you always have to do them. And that's the reason why most of the time um, we can tend to feel like, oh, he's planning to take me as a wife because I've done all these things and he's comfortable with them. And of course, um, you know, in terms of financial help, I know the nature of a man is to always, you know, is a provider. He wants to take care of his woman, he's, he's built to take care of his woman, he wants to be, you know, that backbone and that rock for her. But there are certain things that you should limit when dating because it can easily tend to uh, uh, um, show that, okay, this is, you know, this is going to push more than what it is right now. So be very clear, like, okay, we're going to start this. I cannot do this and this for you. I'm not yet your husband and there are certain things I can't do at this stage. Like it's very good to communicate. It's also very important to let her know that, um, uh, 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 like be so be honest and real with yourself. Like I'm not moving beyond this stage. You know, most of the time when we start to date, we are hoping that it's going to progress to another level, you know, and in terms of like for a woman, for example, the moment we're in a early 20s to late 20s, the moment somebody's asking you out your next point, yeah, it's quite important for you. Is is it going to be more than just a relationship? Are we going to go to that next level? So it's so important that you make things clear before dating. So you wouldn't have all these issues of uh, 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 um, uh, you know, these conflicts that will arise that should, shouldn't have even been there in the first place because you didn't have things laid out clearly, you know, from the start, you know. So these are very important points that you should note before dating is. Yeah. Another important point, you know, um, we have to notice uh, the standards, you know, um, as a Christian, marriage came from God. And so in, in the aspect of, in the aspect of relationship, getting to know somebody, in this case, dating, I need to know the standards that God has laid out, you know, like, okay. If I'm going to do this, what does God say about this? You know, what is the standards for relationship? I know that um, sex before marriage shouldn't exist. Like, like you shouldn't have sex before marriage. And so one thing I will make very clear if in my case would be, oh, we can't have sex, you know. We can't have sex because we are not married. That should be clear. And um, if you're clear on that, like, oh, and then number two, I can't live in your house when we're not married. Like, I can't live in your house. I can come visit and live. And even with the visitation, like, I have to make sure that... Um, we don't go past a certain point in the house, you know. Like, these are important things to lay down. Like, okay, these are the standards that are laid down. Down, Okay, I can't live in your house with you. I can't sleep over at your house. 
I can't come there late because I know what it might result to if I come there late. I can't um uh, 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 um I can't come there and change and do wifey stuff because I know what it's going to result to. There are some certain things that you have to lay down clearly, like we can't call a bit, you know, no matter what, I shouldn't start moving my stuff to your house. Or you shouldn't encourage me to bring my stuff to your house. You shouldn't encourage, you shouldn't encourage me, uh, uh, you know, trying to do things that are not supposed to be in my, you know, it shouldn't be. At that level, we shouldn't be doing that. You know, these are standards, like they are laid down, you know, because we want to have a, a, um, a life of purity. And if we're going to achieve that, we have to avoid triggers. For example, you know, you guys are so uh, um, attracted to each other. You know that, of course, if I enter, uh, uh, I start spending so much time in his house there's obviously going to be that aspect that you don't want. So these are standards you should know before dating. Like, okay, we're about to date, but you have to know that I can't sleep with you. I can't sleep over. I can't move into your apartment. I can't uh, um, come here and be doing wifely duties. We're not in that level yet. We're not at that point yet. So... Yeah, this is also important is uh, 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 for us to note that we have to lay down these principles. Like it should be laid down. This and this and this and this and this we cannot do. Before taking that next step now, to uh, 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 before taking the next step, like whether we're supposed to date now or not. Okay, another point is the moment you've um, established these aspects of, um, you know, your, your, the standards and the uh, 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 things that you won't be able, to, um, points that you can't compromise on, you have to stick with them. It's quite difficult, especially, you know, maybe... You guys have gone on a few dates. Um, you seem to, you know, click in certain areas. And then you start bringing out these points of, you can't do this and this. And then you notice that um, this date of yours is getting cold. It's important that we stick to these principles. We stick to these boundaries because... Um, if you start lowering them, it means that you're going to be lowering a lot of things throughout that relationship. For example, what do I mean? If before you guys take the next step after going on the dates, getting to know each other, you've maybe formed a friendship and then you brought out this point of, oh, I can't have sex before marriage. I can't live in your apartment. Um, I can't, you know, give you husband benefit or I can't give you wife benefits as a girlfriend or a boyfriend and you realize that this person is acting cold towards you it's also a good sign to know that it was not supposed to progress more than it is now and um, what do I mean is you've realized that you've mentioned all these boundaries and you know things that you cannot do uh and you're not planning to compromise on them. And then the next thing is you start acting cold. It doesn't seem to have any form of care and concern anymore. She doesn't seem to want to be bothered about your issues anymore. And then you start thinking about maybe adjusting these aspects like, ah, oh, it won't be a bad idea to do X, Y, and Z. After all, we like each other. Um, we seem to have, you know, this pack, there's this click and all of that. And you start thinking about having, uh, uh, you know, you start having a rethink about this boundaries that you set, this, uh, 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 um, you know, 
laid down principles that you've already established, you start thinking that, okay, it wouldn't be a bad idea to just come on weekends to his apartment. I couldn't do anything. And you know that's like, <clears throat> sorry, that's like you convincing yourself that nothing is going to happen. But you and I know that you cannot go to that apartment. It's, yeah, I know it's true that um, you can control yourself, but we have to take extra steps to maintain certain levels of purity. Some things are better, you know, you, you ref refrain from them totally. You know that going to that apartment is going to trigger your emotions. There's going to be all these chemicals in your body telling you what to do. You start having ideas. And the next thing you know, you started doing the doing that you are not supposed to do. So if your standards, if this date is going to make you, you start to, start to have a rethink about certain standards then I'm going to say it's actually a sign that it shouldn't progress more than this. There's certain things that you might, you know, you might think of like that wouldn't be such, you know, uh, that can be somewhat of an adjustment. Let's say you are not really good at um, going out in the evenings. Let's say um, because of... Um, you have this kind of fear that uh, I'm not comfortable, you know, going out in the evenings. But maybe this person has, um, like, you know, they have like a friend's, you know, barbecue evening or something that they usually do. And they can't necessarily move it to the afternoon because they're usually when they have it, everyone is back from work and so and so. You know, there are certain things that you can, you can, you know, make allowances for. That's different. Like, okay, uh, I'm really a stay-at-home kind of person. I don't really like to go out. But this person has some form of, you know, like you guys have various aspects that you click on. But maybe that's just one area that you're, you're okay with saying, okay, it's fine. You know, let's see how, you know, maybe I, I, I'm not used to going out at night because I couldn't or in the evenings because I couldn't really have things that were interesting for me in the evenings but now that I have somebody that has you know different activities that can happen I can make adjustments for that that's different like you know making certain adjustments to uh, I'm fitting with the person that you like that's different but major compromises I'm talking in this case is cases you know, lowering your spiritual standards or cutting it off totally because you want to keep this person uh -uh, on, like you want to maintain this relationship with this person is actually a no-no. You know, the moment you have to readjust your purpose, your, your beliefs in terms of, you know, what you believe a uh, um, relationship should be you start thinking rethinking about your purity like uh well we're eventually going to get married so why not do this and this and this that's actually a no-no that's what i'm talking about not like you know minor changes of you know um uh, uh, um <laughs> okay tina's legacy says the moment you start doing the doing, you start feeling butterflies in your stomach. That butterfly is your brain, brain flying away, which is stopping you from making a sound judgment. Exactly. It's true. Because like Tina just said, you have started doing, so you're, there's this attachment that is built. And um, from this attachment now, you really can't make sound judgments because your soul, your your soul and your body, you know, they have agreed that um, this is actually a good thing. You know, it's it's fun and this and this and this. Like, it's not a big deal to adjust certain things, you know. The moment you start compromising, you're going to really compromise on a lot of things. A lot of things, you know. Uh, uh, it can even get to a point wherein you're even going to compromise on... Uh, um, 
your beliefs in terms of uh, 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 how uh, uh, your relationship should be in terms of, let's say, you started compromising on, okay, let me stay with him, let me sleep over. And then you find out later that um, he also believes in having multiple partners, you know, and you've already given in so much, you've put in so much into it, you start thinking, well, he's a man or she's a woman. It, it might be a need of hers or a need of his to just, you know, you're just excited. He's trying to express his youthfulness and this and this. And this is not going to stop. I'm sorry to tell you that if he starts doing these things, it's going to continue as you guys are going. It's not going to stop after... You know, like, oh, it's just because we are dating. I don't have any legal right to him to stop doing this. He's going to continue with this until marriage. I'm sorry, but it's true. Because if you are doing this now, it means you're even going to have the legal grounds to keep on doing it. Because you'll be like, eh, you can't do anything now. You are stuck with me, you know. And, um, and a lot of other things. So, please, do not compromise the standards it's so dangerous because you start giving into a lot of things that you are not comfortable with as a person you start encouraging and taking a lot of things that you know from the start that you are not good at accepting those things so it's not a good idea to start compromising on your standards so I asked the question earlier if you if you think dating is a necessity or a choice is dating a choice or a necessity this the that's the question I asked myself earlier on is dating a choice or a necessity I guess, um, I believe this is the first question I should ask myself before I start dating. Um, that's a question we should ask ourselves before dating. Why am I dating? You know, why am I dating? Am I dating because I want to date? I'm prepared for it. Or am I dating because the society says, I'm in my 20s, I'm a young lady, I'm now, I'm still beautiful, I still have the look, and it's essential that I, essential that I date, or am I dating because I think I'm ready to date, and I think I believe it's the next step for me to do, I want to be in a relationship, I want to now move from being in a relationship, courtship, marriage, to being a mom, so... In answering this question, if you feel like dating is a necessity, in this case, you feel like it's a must I do because I'm young, my friends are dating, or my family thinks I'm, um, I've achieved a lot of things, now I should settle down. Like that word, settle down, is also causing a lot of problems because it seems like you are unsettled, even if you are okay. Like, you are single, you have a job, you have your business is running, um, you, you know, you do your daily activities, you're okay. But there comes in the word, you need to settle down. Like, it sounds more like, <laughs> in, in cases, I think I can understand if people are coming from the aspect of, you are moving all around the place with different people. But I don't think it's a word that should be used like that. You know, like settle down. Like, are you saying that the person is unsettled? Anyway, that's just besides the point. So if dating is a necessity, it simply, simply means we are not ready to date. I'm not ready to date. You are not ready to date. Because it has to come from a place of readiness. Like, it's my choice that I want to date. It's also my choice that um, 
I'm willing to get to know somebody and we build something from there. It shouldn't come from a place of my parents are asking for grandchildren, so I need to look for somebody and, you know, start a family. Or now, oh, everyone in my friends list, you know, I've been a bridesmaid for six different weddings. My mom usually says you should be a bridesmaid for just three. It's just, it means that you are, um, uh, 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 you know, something is wrong. Like you cannot just continue to be a bridesmaid, you know, and this is seen in everything, like in movies, in the real world, in advertisements, social media is even making it worse now. Like you feel like you have to, even though you know that you are not ready. So dating, you know, entering into a relationship, like start before you want, before dating, you have to know if you're ready. It shouldn't come from a place of pressure, like you feel pressured to do it. So this is important. Ask yourself, am I dating? Am I about to date because everyone around me says so? Or is it my choice to want to date now? I'm ready to you know, get to know somebody and um, we'll take it from there. Tina's legacy says, I think dating is a choice because as a Christian, dating is not in the Bible. And there is something I've learned or an advice I will give, give people is to use the first 25 years of your life to know. Thank you very much. Yes, indeed. Um, dating is not in the Bible. It's a concept that um came from you know society like out of the you know it's not in the scripture but the scripture do talk about courtship and from the scripture you can realize that um most people got married quite early and it's usually you know like in the old testament the parents can easily find a wife for you and then you get married and you get to know each other inside the marriage but you know we've now gotten the term dating outside but we're now using it here in as christians um to you know yeah so it's become part of what you say and like my sister said tina said um what she has learned or an advice she will give to people is to use the 25 the first 25 years of your life to know it's true you have to know like you can't like you shouldn't just like <laughs> this thing is so serious that I, before preparing for this live, I was telling myself like this topic is important for even me that is saying it because I've learned that um it's deeper than just fun and games. It's deep, you know, because people always tell you if you are not ready to date or to settle down, like they usually say. You shouldn't start dating because that means you are just wasting time. You know, because the uh, the point of dating is to get to know somebody and see if it's going to progress. So if you are not ready, you shouldn't even think of it because then you're just wasting somebody's time. You are putting a lot of energy into it that you might have used for something else and putting a lot of work because it involves a lot you know, it takes a lot. It involves your spiritual, mental, physical, every aspect of you is involved when date, uh, when dating. So you can't, you can't just enter into it without being ready. So dating is a choice. It should never be a necessity. You should never see dating as a point of trying to please somebody or thinking because you are past 25 or you think you need it to validate yourself or validate your worth to people, it should never be the case. So please, please, dating should be a choice. It should never be a necessity. So thank you guys so much for today. I loved um, having you guys around today. It has been really amazing. Um, so... That's it for today. I'll just go over the points briefly. Number one, 
dating is to get to know someone new and to build a friendship with the opposite sex. Number two, you should ask yourself if you are aware of the benefits and the dangers of dating before you start. Number three is understanding God's standards. If you know that um, um, these are God's standards, you have to work with it no matter what. Number four, you shouldn't compromise your standards. Compromise the standards of God because you want to date. Finally, you ask yourself, the first question you should ask yourself that I put last was because, you know, I want us to reflect on it is, is dating a choice or a necessity? And indeed, it's a choice. You shouldn't date because you feel like uh, um, everything around you is pointing to you dating or because everyone around you, around you is pushing you to date. So that's it, guys, for today. Thank you so much for joining me. It has been amazing spending time with you guys. So till the next episode. And I had a request here from Amadino says, your next live screening, I would like you to find ways to transform a cheetah into a genuine lover. Wow, that's actually... <laughs> That's actually a huge one. Um, anyway, um, thank you guys for joining me. So till the next episode, bye. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow talk with talk underscore with underscore Ria, And as well as check us out on Facebook. And please, please, if you have any topic you would like us to look at, you can kindly leave a comment and your suggestion. You can send a DM. And if you also want to be a part of the show, you are always welcome to, you know, DM us so that we can put you in a slot for the show. It's always good to have various perspectives and also have a discussion like this to hear from different people, you know. So thank you guys so much for joining me to the next episode. Bye.